Good afternoon. Welcome to the Midday Mull for Monday, the 9th of September. Reading through the Psalms with McShane, we read Psalm 51 today. Great penitential psalm. David had committed uh, adultery with Bathsheba, and then to smooth things over, had her, her husband Uriah killed in battle, and he thought his problems had been sorted out. But the prophet Nathan comes and confronts him with what he's done, and his response is penitence. Verse 3, we read, For I know my transgressions, and my sin is always before me. Against you, you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. So you are right in your verdict and justified when you judge. And here David is, he doesn't try and dissemble, he doesn't try and pretend, he doesn't say, it wasn't that bad, it wasn't me, it was, um, he just admits, I've done it, and it was my own fault, and God is entirely right and justified in his judgment. Um, and we read that sort of quite easily, but it's something that often doesn't come easily to people, to actually confess and own up and say, yes, I, I have been in the wrong. And certainly when I was at the school, you'd catch boys doing something. And the, the basic human nature <laughs> is to pass the buck. Well, sir, it wasn't me. It was so-and-so. And, but there's an excuse and there's a reason, and it's not quite as serious. Very seldom did anybody say, yes, it was me. It was stupid. I shouldn't have done that. I'm entirely at fault. People aren't like that. It doesn't come naturally to us. And for David, when he thought he'd got away from it, with, with it, confronted by God, he just admits, I have sinned. I've sinned against God. And God is entirely justified in his judgment. And if we keep reading, he doesn't come out of this and say, therefore, I'm going to try harder. I'm going to make a new start. I'm going to be a better person. I'll, I'll do something to make amends. I'll, I'll um, pay it back somehow. He, he, instead, he says, uh, he turns to God. And he says in verse 7, cleanse me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. And he turns to God and says, God, only you can sort this out. You can forgive me. You can cleanse me. You can restore me. I can't make it right myself. And then a little later he says, I will teach people your ways. Come Because you've forgiven me. It's not I will teach people your ways and then you'll forgive me. It's you'll forgive me. I pray that you'll forgive me. And once I've been forgiven, because of what I've been through, because I've experienced that, I will teach people your ways. And that's always the way it works. We, we, we cannot make it right. We cannot do anything to deserve it. No matter how many people we convert, we've never made up for our sins. No matter how, how much we give in terms of our, our, our offerings. <laughs> Paul says, I can offer myself to be burned, on, uh, burned in the fire. It's not going to undo what I've done. Jesus does that for us. And coming out of that forgiveness, we offer ourselves to God and say, Lord, use me, not because I deserve it, but because you are gracious, you are loving, you've forgiven me, and I want to um, inspire others to see that as well. So be encouraged that we can cast ourselves in our need, in our brokenness and our fallenness. We can cast ourselves upon a gracious, loving, forgiving God. We can do no more than that. Be blessed.